Now he gonna roll with George. What's next? The motherfucking Hanato saga continues. <laughs> George, you can't grab him and leave me like that. George, you have no gi. There's a no gi class, George. Yo, 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 yo. Yo, 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 yo. Chill out. Hey, 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 I don't let them go out. Sleeping. No, go I take a break. Then <laughs> I'm gonna show the technique. Grab me that lapel. Throw some water, dude. I'm gonna get some. Some. Some water. last two weeks we were working on prison guard from half guard which works well if you can the, the problem the problems that you have with hitting prison guard from half guard is being able to get to the body pyramid here keep the wizard that you got to be able to get to that and you got to be able to break that wizard and then after you break the wizard now you need to shuck his arm, his arm over your head so there's two things. You need to break that wizard and shuck the arm over your head in a body pyramid. It works, but for full guard, there's a lot more power. So um, we're going to start in butterfly, double on the hooks. And anytime I get here, there's only two things you can do from here for sure that I've thought of. I mean, besides just disengaging and just running. Two offensive things, you can just scoot out and get to half guard and you already got the underhook here. You can't really stop you from that. If you got this, you're in control here, especially if you got a decent clinch. He's waiting for you. He might be able to pummel through a little bit, but you're in control here. And another thing that you can for sure do is go to full guard. Going to full guard from here is pretty damaging. You can't really sweep him because he's got base. I'm not overhooking his arms. So if I try to do a butterfly sweep, you need to overhook his arms, take away his base. Here, you can't take away his base. But, you can get to full guard. And if you get to full guard, you can get to homie control without worrying about that wizard. So anytime, anytime I get here, I'll just pull him into me while I push and extend my butterflies. That opens up space, so you can flare your butterflies out and get to full guard. If I just pulled him on top of me and didn't, didn't push my butterflies, didn't extend them, he would just stuff my butterflies. I couldn't do anything. Yeah. I gotta be able to extend them. And it's easier to extend them when you, you got your posture. If I'm already laying down, man, you can stuff. It's gonna be hard to do anything. So from here, I pull them on top of me and I extend those butterflies and it flips my legs right out. From here, now I'm in homie control here. He doesn't have a wizard. So all I really gotta do is, is uh, shuck his arm off my head. And from full guard, it's easier. Because I, I got full control of his body here, and this foot on the hip is huge. It's easier to get here. Now once I'm here, I'm going to cross my legs, get high guard, as high as possible. Keeping his posture broken here. Let him suck in his elbow. He's going to naturally do that. His elbow got sucked in because he wants the T-Rex. It's hard for him to get his posture back here. I want to keep his posture here because he's giving me a swim. Swim all day here. 
So to get the swim, I'm gonna have to release the gable grip, control his neck, help with the posture while I put the deep hook in. The deep hook only goes in so far at this point. You gotta sink it in, in the roll. Still down the pressure with my legs, keeping his posture broken. And now as I swim, now I sink the, my deep hook deeper, now I'm there. Perfect spider web. And my, my uh, strategy from here usually just go test him out right with the arm crush. See if he's got anything for the arm crush. Because I don't have to let go of the legs. I like controlling these legs. I like control them like this, like this, dabbling them. I like to go through all the submissions where I don't need this arm first before I bring this arm into the mix. That's what I'm always thinking. I'm here, I'm always gonna see if you can block this. Some guys are really good. They've been here a million times, so as soon as I bring the leg over, they block. And now it becomes a game of Wing Chun, my, arm, my legs against his arms. And then we battle, go douchebag or whatever. Sometimes nothing works. Now you have to start going through the moves that um, require your right arm. And the first one I usually go to is the Silverado. With the deep hook, this, my inside of my elbow is touching the inside of his elbow. Right here, my forearm is touching the inside of his elbow. That's not a deep hook. We always keep it deep. So when we're working the Silverado, now I want to slide the inside of my elbow to his wrist. Not this, not, a, not my forearm to his wrist, the inside of my elbow to his wrist. The inside of my elbow is touching the inside of his elbow. Now the inside of my elbow is touching his wrist. Not my forearm. You're going to need it on the elbow because you're going to need for your arm to be able to swing back here because now I created space for a downward elbow, gable grip. We twist and break apart his grip. Got the arm. Here. When I slide my arm up to his wrist, the inside of my elbow to his wrist, it leaves space. So follow it with your chest. Still no space where he can, right here, he might be able to rip that arm. Follow it with your chest, and then make that move here. Keeping your feet crossed big time. Because keeping your feet crossed prevents the corkscrew and it's corkscrewing out but it doesn't prevent him from flipping over or rolling into you. I mean, it doesn't really have any effect. So you gotta make this quick. So we're starting in butterfly guard, double underhooks. Just know you got something from here. Of course, you know, you got to. If your prison guard sucks, if you don't have a good clinch and you don't know how to either get to the back or swim move, um, from homie control, well then you might want to work on it, just let it go and go for half guard or just disengage all together. All right, so I'm gonna pull him on top of me, push the butterflies through, homie control. Foot on the hip is huge, squeezing this tight. He's holding onto my head. Let him suck that elbow in, high guard. If I can't control his posture, <coughs> The purpose of the pump here, the pump, so I can't get his hands to the mat. Now I gotta start pushing his elbows in. His elbows, I'm trying to push his elbows in so I can attack that arm. Lock his shoulder and attack the arm. I can't lock his shoulder with his elbow out. If his elbow's here, now I lock the shoulder. So, once we're here, and he, he gains posture, we weren't able to control his posture, as he postures up, I'm gonna lock his shoulder. And then go down the path of the, the toss. And we end up here guys. Some guys you can't control the posture and they're posturing up. You go right up and lock their shoulder. A whole different path now. It's like we're just coming off of a pump that worked. Does that make sense? Yeah. You gotta catch that really quick though. You can't, you gotta be waiting for it. You gotta know in a split second that your posture control is not working. All right? Double on your hooks butterfly gets you to full guard. Gets you to 